let's take a look at my CRT TV collection. Here is the TV that started it all, the Sylvania. This has um, a VHS input, so let's put a movie in. Let's watch The Crow. This TV comes with a remote. Um, this is actually my sister's TV. And about a year ago, uh, I asked her if I could borrow one of her TVs for a video. And she said, yeah. And I used it in so many videos. Um, and I started collecting CRT TVs because I didn't want to borrow hers anymore. I wanted to have my own. So let's look at some of the other TVs that I own. Alright, so I have to brighten this video up so you can see better. Um, this is the RCA TV, and it has a clear case. If you ever wondered what the inside of a CRT TV looks like, this is what's inside of most of them. So, when I was doing some research on clear tech, the first thing that I found was this plexiglass car from 1939. Um, and then in the 90s, you had like clear Game Boy cases and stuff. Sometimes clear tech is made for a specific purpose, and a lot of these clear TVs were most likely in a prison um, to ensure that, you know, inmates would not be able to steal any parts from these things. Sometimes with CRT TVs, you do not have an AV input. So what that is, is those red, white, and yellow cables. So I was born in 1997, so I've seen these growing up. But if you haven't seen these, um, and you are born in, you know, later 2000s and stuff, these are uh, AV cables, and you can connect these to old TVs, VHS cameras, like... Um, you know, old game consoles. How I get pictures on my TVs are through these little guys. These are HDMI to AV. Um, so yeah, on one side you have an HDMI input, and on the other side you have an AV out. So, what do I do if a TV does not have an AV input? All TVs have this little antenna cable input. The end of those antenna cables will look like this. Still use one of these, HDMI to AV, and you have to go into one of these guys. This is an AV to RF modulator, both of which you can find on Amazon. And you go AV in on one side, and then you go from this cable, it's going to be RF out, and then this goes into your antenna input. So what this does is this makes two fake channels for you. And they're not being broadcast, it's just inside this little box. You have a channel three and a channel four. And then you're pretty much tricking your TV into thinking that it is picking up a channel. And that's how you can get videos on TVs with no AV input. Next up, we have this lovely Hello Kitty TV which I found at a flea market. Um, this TV is so cute. The menu screen is adorable. Let me show you. I loaded up the Animal Crossing movie and it looks so cute. Next up is this small black and white TV um, slash radio. And this one is nice because it's portable if you put batteries in it. I put the Twilight Zone intro on this one. I'm just going to zoom out and show you how I connected this TV. Literally going out from my RF modulator into an antenna. And then connecting it with this gator clip to the other side of the antenna. But see, it's kind of like, it's a little, little bit wonky when I move it around. There we go. Oh. You can almost get it completely clear. Let's see. Maybe. Yeah, anyways, this TV is really cute. 
My boyfriend got it for me for my birthday, and I love it. You can get these ones on eBay for like probably $20 to $30. This next one is actually pretty interesting. I think a lot of people think um, these are, you know, cheap and kind of not as cool. Um, but I think they're really cool. These are portable TVs from, I think, also the 90s. Um, but this one's cool because I actually grew up with this TV. Like, my mom had this and would just, let, you know, use it. And sometimes I'd use it when I was little. And it stayed in a drawer for probably, like... I don't know, over 10 years until I found a YouTube video that shows you how to connect um, any video source to these little TVs. So let's take a closer look. But yeah, here's a close up. I'm shamelessly plugging a music video that me and my friend put out recently. I believe if you want to look up the names of these types of TVs, I'm pretty sure they're called Watchmen. Next we have this nice small RCA TV, um, and unfortunately the VHS player does not really work in this one. Uh, it only has audio when you put a VHS in. And this one is a Magnavox with a DVD player that does work, which is really nice. I just put on some early 2000s commercial for that extra nostalgic goodness. I think this is a Chef Boyardee commercial. <laughs> I forgot about this. And the way I connected both of them to have the same thing playing is I have those AV cables going to the in, and there's also some AV outs on the RCA, so I have more AV cables coming out of the back of this RCA into the Magnavox. Next up we have this Magnavox with a DVD player as well and the Sanyo which does not have anything, it just has an antenna input. The second to last thing I want to show you is this dirty video mixer. This is by Janktoons um, on Etsy. And pretty much what you can do is put two videos going in and then the out goes into your TV and you can mix these videos together. So right now I have a live feed of myself from this tiny camera here. And I got the matrix code pulled up on my computer and we're gonna mix these two videos together. And the final TV that I own, which is a recent addition, is one of my favorites. This is made by Tiny Circuits. It comes with a remote. It also has preloaded videos. This is not a CRT though. I think it's just a tiny little LED screen. But here's the remote. One of my favorite features about this TV is that you can mirror your computer screen to it. Okay. <laughs> so I'm mirroring right now. I'm mirroring my screen and I have my photo booth camera open. So pretty cool. Crazy. staring into my FaceTime camera on my back right now. Hello. But yeah, um, these are my TVs. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below.